What's up everybody? Welcome to BCM. This is Michael and it's been a while but I'm back. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Stick around to the end to see what the experts have to say. I'll put a timestamp below but first I'll break down what I think. Sunday the 29th of August, just around the corner, we'll see a novelty technically sanctioned pro bout for Jake, the problem child, Paul, against his fourth opponent making a boxing debut, but no stranger to the fight game, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. The fight will go down in Cleveland, Ohio. Paul, much to the chagrin of boxing purists, is back again and causing controversy by just being him. The fact that he takes on opponents whose striking ability can be characterized as subpar, or at least not a strong suit in their arsenal, Ben Askren is a prime example. Scorn, scorn, scorn. Has meant a cautious and steady progression into the realm of boxing. Opponents with clout, but lacking the threat of any real boxing ability, has benefited Paul's confidence, but it could be different this time around. Jake Paul comes from a wrestling background and is athletic, no doubt. Forget the YouTube fame and silly antics, he has shown competency in the ring. A little stiff and upright in his movement, and not the most graceful of techniques from what I have watched. He does have good work ethic, staying busy, and good stamina. He's aggressive too. He also carries some power. Paul has a 3-0 record, which won't impress many given the competition, but it's still three victories. He stands at six foot one, which will give him the height advantage, but he also has the reach advantage over Woodley with a uh, 76 or 193 centimeter wingspan. I don't know how seriously Jake Paul wants to pursue a boxing career and like his brother Logan Paul, it might all just be a little bit of fun and opportunity for more exposure and money, but coming in against the fighter with a long history in professional fighting and many victories under his belt, it could be a bridge too far, but this remains to be seen. Tyron Woodley finished his MMA career with four losses on the trot before being axed by the UFC organization. At 39 years of age, the chosen one will also be the older one out of him and Paul. Woodley is making his pro debut and his contest will be in the cruiserweight division, a division that I think suits both fighters. Woodley, whom fought at around 170 pounds in what the UFC classifies as welterweight, was considered a pretty big welterweight. In boxing, this converts to something nearing super middleweight or light heavyweight, somewhere around there. There isn't much to go on in terms of boxing ability, but in the UFC career, his striking didn't look too bad, and he has a few KO wins from punches, and I don't mean round and pound, but the manner in which he connects with his opponents while exchanging on his feet indicates to me good technique and movement. Put MMA and boxing stance differences aside, he seems comfortable fighting inside and being the shorter guy. If he can close the gap on Paul and connect with that strong right hand that he possesses, I think Paul could be in trouble when he gets hit by a fighter with proper striking capabilities. Paul hasn't experienced that as yet, so we will see how his chin handles it if this happens. The difference will be adjusting from fighting in 4 ounce gloves to the 10 ounce gloves in this fight, but UFC fighters are used to training in heavier sparring gloves, so any difference should be negligible. Many folks predicted Ben Askren would win when he faced Paul based on the fact that Askren was a professional prize fighter, but watching him box was like watching a middle-aged drunk dude trying to balance on a log by flailing his arms about. Whereas Woodley's striking is crisp and sharp and has taken down some absolute warriors using his fists. Robbie Lawler, Darren Till, whom received his first loss to Woodley, Damian Meyer and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson and just some other names. Woodley was welterweight champ for three years and successfully defended his title four times, so he's definitely not playing around. If I'm wrong, I'm also happy to get a tattoo, as is the arrangement in this fight after the two shook hands and made a bet that the loser had to get an I love and then the name of the winner tattooed somewhere on their body. But my tattoo will say bum fights across my forehead as a tribute to the film series a few years back. But I'm going with Woodley on this one. He has the fighting experience and the striking ability that Paul doesn't, and I think Jake Paul is in for a rough night. He'll tie Woodley up when he can, but I can see Woodley connecting with something significant, some sweet chin music that Paul will be humming in his head for some time. Before we hear from the experts, a reminder that if you want to show your support, you can like, share, and subscribe. You can help this channel grow by becoming a Patreon member, which comes with some perks. Just check the description for more info. 
Life is a fight outside the ring, and if you are struggling with depression, anxiety, substance abuse, low self-esteem, debt, sleepless nights, and so much more, I can tell you that I have been there and I have some crazy stories to share, but more importantly, I turn my life around and my experiences might help you to do the same. You can find out in my book, How to Get Out of Life Traps. It's available on Amazon. Just find the link below. Looking for an opportunity to make money? That cryptocurrency is so hard right now! I'm not a financial advisor, but it's pretty obvious that it is growing in popularity and utility, and many folks think that they have missed the boat on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but they couldn't be further from the truth. You can mine Bitcoin on your laptop, PC, and mobile phone if they're half decent without having to splurge on expensive mining rigs. In fact, you can do it for free. This is not a paid sponsor. I would be in trouble with YouTube if it was and I didn't declare it. It's just simply a great opportunity in something that I'm doing. And CryptoTab can help you generate income. Click the links below and start earning money today.